Uh, and Caleb, I want to start off with you. Can A.J. Brown take that Eagles offense to the next level? The Eagles offense, absolutely. Um, the Eagles offense definitely got better this offseason. They've added weapons for Jalen Hurts. Um, this is really, I think, going to be the year for Jalen Hurts to kind of decide if they're going to stick with him or not, especially with the offense that they have now. Um, but, yeah, the offensively, yes. I still have questions with the Eagles secondary and what they're going to do with that spot. But as far as the offense, uh, I think they can definitely compete in that division. Though. Now, talking about what A.J. Brown is going to mean for the Philadelphia Eagles, I mean, he'd be very clear, not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. I don't believe in Jalen Hurts. I'm going to just be real with you. I don't believe in Jalen Hurts at quarterback. That has nothing to do with adding A.J. Brown. That Jalen Hurts, could, like it, <laughs> A.J. Brown, adding him to that offense gives him another weapon one way or another. That's fine. He's going to get him. But the the question, but, but, but Caleb, 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 the question was, does A.J. Brown take Philly to the next level? And I'm here to tell you right now he doesn't. They didn't, they didn't even have a, 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 arguably a number one receiver last year. And now you – They didn't. They, I'm saying they didn't. Now I'm asking you. They didn't. No. Um, at, at best, you have Devontae Smith, right? Oh, okay. So what was Devontae Smith? <laughs> I, all, right. All, right. all right. I hear you. But A.J. Brown is a much better receiver right now than Devontae Smith is. Oh, that's yes. fine. He also was in his, like, what year? In exactly. Hey, that's, the, that's the point. I'm mean, say he's not going to do anything for this offense is – no, 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 no. You said that the question, I never say he's not going to do anything for the offense, right? Because doing something for the offense, like, like, please don't take what I'm saying out of context. The question was, does A.J. Brown take Philly to the next level? Philly was a playoff team this year. Yeah. So if we're talking about taking them to the next level. Okay. I, I, that, okay. I understand. I got you. No, he doesn't. I'm sorry he doesn't. I, we need to see real strides out of Jalen Hurts at the quarterback position. And that's not me talking crap. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's that's those are things that they that they really need to work on. That's things that he really needs to work on. I'm very very curious to see how it. Um. Uh. I, 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 I'm really curious to see how he progresses as a quarterback in the National Football League this year. But I'm not moved by AJ Brown getting traded. Like we got to stop with this whole sin. We got to stop with this logic, thinking that just because a, a a very good wide receiver moves on to a different team with a meh quarterback that automatically that offense is going to take the next step. I'm seeing it with, when it comes to – I'm seeing it when it comes to uh, Chua Taga Viola and, and – uh, what's, the, what's the wide receiver's name? Uh, Tariq Hill. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like that doesn't we – don't, we don't know. We don't, we don't know. I'm just saying, like, I, I believe quarterbacks make – what's the word I'm looking for? I think quarterbacks make uh, – like, great quarterbacks make meh receivers look good. I don't know if meh receivers make – I don't know if great, quarter, if great receivers make meh quarterbacks look good. I don't know if I, I believe that. So, so this is where I see all all sides of the the coin here. I agree with Malik. The Eagles are not going any farther with Jalen Hurts at the helm. They made the playoffs last year. That's pretty much their ceiling at this point, with AJ Brown or without him. But I see what uh, you know Dean saying in the comments and what Caleb's saying and the fact that yeah, you are getting this alpha receiver, this guy who's a top ten, top five yeah. wide out in the league. And, and yeah, for the long term, like if they replace, Absolutely. let's say. They have all this ammunition. They move on from Jalen Hurts next year, and they get themselves a really nice young quarterback. Maybe they trade up for a guy in the draft. Who knows? It's a great long-term play. But, yes, for next year, I would agree with Malik and say it doesn't take them to the next level because they, frankly, already hit their ceiling. 